What is up guys? We are back with another reaction video. This time we are checking out Elvis Presley Heartbreak Hotel 1968 Comeback Special. I believe this is when he came back from the army. I could be wrong. I don't know if I've seen this clip before. This was recommended to me by like six, seven different people. Elvis is extremely popular, even today in the year 2023. What does that tell you? For, when did he die? 1970 something? So like 50 years after his death, he's still kicking. He's still so super popular. And it just makes sense because he seems like a wholesome dude. But yeah, why don't we just jump into this, see what it's all about. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Wow, they're loving it, and he hasn't even said a word yet. Look at that freaking outfit. That's a freaking baller outfit. You gotta have some charisma to rock leather on leather. Time, Jack. I'm telling you. It's been a while. A while. About 15 minutes. About 15 minutes, man. <laughs> Are we on TV? No, we're on a train heading for Tulsa. <laughs> okay. I like. I like the fact how informal this is. Like coming back after being away for freaking years, and he's just so like nonchalant, cool about it. He's just a cool dude. He's a cool dude. Not, not many people have that charisma. They can pull that off. They'd be like nervous. He's another day at the office with this man. Man. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Quick show. Well, since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. <laughs> uh, I, I don't even want to talk about that for a second. But what he's able to do with his foot, like, he, what he's doing on guitar doesn't seem that complex. He's just doing open chords, like, boom, like strums, and he's got lead guitar players doing all the rest. But he's just so in tune with the music. He's stopping his foot, but and his voice is so freaking powerful. And it just, I, I like that they're showing the mess-ups, too, because... It makes it more human, you know? It makes it like a more real interaction. If there's constantly cuts and stuff, like you wouldn't see this today. You would not see all the constant cuts. I mean, you would just see constant cuts. You wouldn't see in person the errors. Well, if your baby leaves you, you got a tale to tell. Let us take a walk down on the street to Hardburn Motel. I love a good solo. <laughs> like, I, I don't even have to, like, know the situation, what's going on. All I know is that he's coming back after years of retirement. But it just comes so natural to him because music is in his freaking blood. Just the way he moves, he's, the way he goes on those little runs vocally, too. It just seems like he's just having fun out there. He's just having fun. And it's a pleasure to watch someone having fun. 
because I don't care how technically skilled you are, if it looks like you're struggling and not like having a good time, I'm not gonna enjoy it. So I, I like how much enthusiasm, like love for life this dude has. One more time. One more time. All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look, man, <I'm> just... <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot the lyrics. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the the bellhop's tears keep flowing. The dance players dressed in black. What's happening? They could die. I knew it. Oh my god, what a cool day. What an awesome day. The crowd is like You can just tell he's a genuine guy. That's what I like. Man, it's the worst job I've ever done on a song. I mean, the one thing you gotta take away from this is just how comfortable this dude is on stage. Like, he, sure, he made a couple mistakes, like, forgot the words, he repeated a verse over, like, a couple times. And the viewer can just sense it because it's just so much more raw and genuine. And it honestly makes me like him more. Because after he messed up the first time, if he said, stop, stop, we're starting over from the beginning, or did stuff like that, I would think less of him for that. But the fact that it doesn't bother him, it's like, whatever, let's keep going. Like, this is real authentic, and you get to see his laugh in there. Oh, seems like a great dude. Honestly, seems like such a nice guy. And, like, God was showing off when they made this dude. Because he just seems like the most humble person, but he also has a skill set that is freaking unreal. Now, he wasn't really showcasing his guitar skills on this. He was just doing a couple open chords, not really doing too much. He had the band for that. But what he was doing, those real authentic vocals, the sheer power, oh, oh. You can't help but be impressed whenever you watch this dude. He's simply one in a million. No, no that's, that's even an insult. He is once in a lifetime. Now, there's not many people that you can watch and go like, oh, okay, he's real, he's genuine. Like, I would know his personality if I just saw this guy on the street. He's one of them. He is one of a handful of people in the entertainment world. And you could just walk up on the street and say, oh, hey, what's going on? And he would treat you like a human being, not like a fan and get bothered by your presence. I don't know, that's just the vibes I get from this dude. Then again, he was dead like 30 years before I was born. So what do I know? You guys probably know more. But anyways, I want to know, what is your favorite Elvis performance that he did live? I want to know his best live performance because I will check that out next. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I should react to next. And have a great day, everybody. Take it easy.